On today's episode, we introduce you to the North American Wood Turtle. These cold tolerant turtles inhabit some of the northernmost parts of the planet. We're about to stumble on a bunch of them as they slowly emerge from a long winter hibernation. It's a beautiful day on the trail and it's especially beautiful right now because this little creek behind me, it's a special creek. It looks like not much. Every year I've been here for the last three years, early spring, this spot is full of wood turtles waking up from hibernation. When reptiles wake up from hibernation, they're not moving very fast, kind of like me in the morning before I have coffee. So before we check out the hibernation emergence spot, I wanted to show you this previous video I made over the summer with a fully active wood turtle because it shows their vibrant colors and their fun and curious nature, which is more like me after I have coffee. Reptiles are solar powered, so naturally most species live closer to the equator where they can get the most sun. But you might be surprised just how far north you can travel and still find abundant reptile wildlife. The North American wood turtle, for example, is one of about 14 species of turtles native to our home state of Pennsylvania. Their range begins somewhere in Virginia and stretches all the way up to Minnesota in Nova Scotia, where ice and snow would kill most reptiles. Most northern turtles spend about half of their lives hibernating and bury themselves underground to survive. But every March and April, their sleepiness wears off and magical spots exist where you practically trip over freshly emerged turtles. Now let's get back to our story. I don't find them on this trail for almost any other time of the year, uh, but for a couple weeks here in early spring, there are wood turtles behind me in this spot. They're very elusive, one of my favorite turtles in Pennsylvania. So we're gonna flip this thing around and let's see if our turtles are still out there. So anywhere up on this hillside, is where I have seen wood turtles in the past. Uh, sometimes they're right down in the creek bottom and you can see it's not that pristine. Some knuckleheads are throwing water bottles in there. Uh, so it's relatively clean, but no wood turtles there yet. Still, if I take a closer look all around here, almost every time somewhere around here, there are wood turtles. And sometimes there's more. Oh guys, I just saw one. I don't know if you saw it, it's very hard to see. Look to the right of that log. It's our first wood turtle. Do you see it yet? This is why they survive. They are so well camouflaged. Do you see it yet? There you should be able to see it. Uh, so it's not a very good view, but we're gonna go get a closer look at it. And on the way over to find that wood turtle, keep your eyes peeled because sometimes I will see one wood turtle and heading back to find the one to get a better shot. I have walked over two and three and four, so I'm sure we have at least one wood turtle here. If we're lucky, we might stumble into a second or a third. Let's see what we can see. Well, I'm not seeing any more wood turtles than what we're expecting, but if you see where we're at, that log right there, that is a log that has a turtle. Oh, guys, I found a second one. Yes, we're up to at least two wood turtles now. Oh, do you see them yet? They are so easy to miss. This is why I always poke around back here to see what I could find. All right, I'm going to keep getting closer until you guys realize where he is. Do you see him yet? Do you see him yet? Now you can probably see him. So there is our second wood turtle. That's not the original one we saw on the other side of the log. Here's the log where we saw the one wood turtle. I'm gonna take you to the other side of it. And there's that wood turtle. You see him down there? So we're going to get a close look at both of these wood turtles, but we're not gonna disturb them too much because they just woke up from hibernation. Oftentimes when turtles are emerging from hibernation, they don't need to be bothered. They're just acclimating. Now they're gonna get a drink of water. Once it gets warm enough, they're gonna start moving. And before long, they're gonna start eating. But going to show you why they're called wood turtles. It looks almost like a wood grain on their shell. That's where they get that name, wood turtle. Let's see if we can bring this one out. Hey, buddy. Oh, what a beauty. You see, it's a very large turtle. Look at the way this one sits in my hand. 
And as you look in, you see the front of their shells don't open and close like box turtles. They have these beautiful bright orange or red legs. And I'm gonna show you what the bottom of their shell looks like. Golly, isn't that beautiful? So you see really nice, big, bright orange legs in there. But let's go take a look at our other wood turtle over here. This one looks a little bit smaller than the other one. Let's take a look. Hey, buddy. No, I think they're almost exactly the same size. And I don't know if either one of them are going to let us take a look at their heads. This one has more gray and black on the legs than the original one. Let's look at those back legs. Oh, yeah, that one's got very bright orange and red here on the back legs. Really pretty. So I'm going to put these both side by side. Yeah, nearly the exact same size. Guys, those are the wood turtles. They're one of my favorite turtles in the entire world. The North American wood turtle, you can find them. In, uh, in wetlands, you can find them in cold water trout creeks, and true to their name, you can find them in the woods. So they're semi-aquatic, that means they spend some of their life on land, some of their life in the water. Uh, guys, we just found a third one. So just to show you, I have these two right here. I was about to put them back, and now let me show you what's over here on the other side. You see that third one there? So we'll go visit him before we leave, but right now we have a male and a female can't quite see what that one is but we'll go take a look yes three wood turtles what a great day before we put these guys back i just want to show you male and female the flat turtle shell uh, usually tells you it's a female and the concave one will usually tell you it's a male and there's an easy way to remember that if you look at the way this concave shell see that really concave shell it's going to fit very nicely on top of the other turtle and so when the males and females mate I actually have them backwards uh, but when they mate then they can fit right up on top of the other one so let's get these exactly back where they were because we want to not mess with them at all uh, let them come out of hibernation on their own so we're going to tuck that one back exactly where we found it and this one we're going to tuck back exactly where we found it there you go, pal. so now these guys are saying right back in the wild where they belong, and we're gonna go find that third one. All right, so now we're gonna come up, see if we can get onto this bank, and find out if this one was a male or female. This is the one that we saw from across the creek, and we're just gonna take a close look. Be nice to show you the head of one. Oh, there he is, oh, slowly in there. Okay, you guys saw him go in at least. Look at that flat shell, guys. That flat bottom tells us we have another girl. So here we have found two females and one male but we're not gonna bother her at all. Okay, we did enough of filming her. She's gonna go right back where she is. Uh, every, every spring I stop by here, I look, I don't see any turtles. I look closer, I find one. I go to look for the one and there ends up being more. And sure enough, today we found three wood turtles. That, that could be more than I find here the rest of the year. Hey, well, thanks for giving reptiles a chance. Make sure to subscribe, watch our other turtle videos and uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time.